Welcome to Ucanic. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how adaptive high beam assist works. So uh, what does that actually mean? Let's take a look at that first. So adaptive high beam assist means that the vehicle will monitor the road in front of you. Uh, and if there's any cars that are in front of you or coming towards you, it will keep the low beams on. And if there's no cars in front of you, they'll switch to high beams. So when you turn on your headlights, the normal operation is like that. So the beams, uh, they're called low beams, they're pointing down, they're uh, shining on just the part, the ground. But if you turn on the high beams by uh, moving the switch here forward, and where you see that symbol right there, the blue symbol right there, um, then you have lights that go, that bright up the whole road. So, but you don't want to drive with the high beams in most cases, because if you got cars in front of you, even if you're following a car, or if you have got cars coming towards you, you're gonna blind those people. I mean, you've seen you, you've seen people drive with high beams on and it's not comfortable, right? When they're coming towards you or if somebody's following you with high beams, so you don't wanna do that. So adaptive uh, high beam assist, what it does, it just monitors the road in front of you, has a sensor, typically it's right in front of, um, that's the rear view mirror. There's a sensor on the front side of the windshield that monitors the road and if there's no car so I'll switch that no um the high beams on uh there's another condition that needs to be met though in order to turn the uh, to turn the adaptive high beam assist on uh is that for most makes and models uh the speed has to be above 25 or um here in this case we this is a mercedes the speed has to be over 30 miles per hour so if you're under that speed even if there's no cars in front of you you're not going to have the high beams on now the high beams assist it might be disabled so in this vehicle for example uh, the high beam assist it could be disabled or enabled as you can see there so you'll have to go to settings and it is going to be a little bit different for different models and then go adaptive high beam assist turn that enabled now you can see that actually right now adaptive high beam assist is not actually on and what we want to do is uh, the the switch right here for uh, the turn signal, right? Instead of pulling it and moving it up and down or pulling it towards us to manually turn on the high beam, we push it forward, okay? And so when you push it forward, what's that gonna do is going to enable the um, adaptive high beam assist. So it's basically, you gotta turn it on, you gotta, uh, the switch here, you gotta push it forward and uh, you need to be over 30 miles an hour in order for that feature to work. And then as you're driving down the road, uh, you, you'll see if you've got no cars around, then um, uh, the high beams will turn on and it'll brighten up most of the road. But if there's other cars coming, it switches uh, to low beams. Um, so that's basically it. Some, uh, just so for clarification, some people um, will call the high beams and my cold brights. Um, but it's the same thing. So there's the high beams right there and they're, they're off. And that's how adaptive high beam assist works. Uh, thank you for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.